you have entered the hole of Palm Swipes After, an after party for of one, or the latest episode of Palm Swipes Left, a podcast with two middle-aged women sniffing each other's butts, or at least tempting us to think they would, and then wimping out, although actually... Carol never offered to sniff Jen. This is episode 23 about MSL episode 162. I am your host, Palm de Terre. At the top of the show, Jen and Carol asked listeners to report their most embarrassing moments which I would say for me was the time I tried to fuck a pomegranate. Did not work out well. All right, I'm not going to do that much of a recap because it takes too much time. I just have some comments. I feel out of the loop somehow that green, I don't know what a greenhorn is in this context about the, the far right, I looked up Greenhorn, and it's either, either an agricultural reform organization or just a person who's newer and experienced at a particular activity. So is that what you're saying about the bumpkins of the far right? The important thing about JFK Jr. is that earlier in, well, Back Way back in 2021, there was talk that in Dallas, at a Rolling Stones concert, JFK Jr. was going to reveal himself as Q, the Q. And then he didn't show up where he was supposed to be in the square where JFK was shot. So then they said, oh, no, 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 he's not going to be there. He's going to be at the Rolling Stones concert. So then everybody went to the Rolling Stones concert, and oddly enough, he didn't show there either. I've never been so turned on by talk of popcorn balls and corn nuts as this week. I'm also very curious about Carol getting shots in her butt as a kid I can honestly say that never happened to me so I don't know if this is something that should be reported to the Catholic Church or what I have been trying to think of a good term for the practice of farting on dicks and the best I've come up with is buffing Now I'm going to break character. I am in fact Ken. And I'm going to reveal what's gone up my holes or in my holes. When I was a child, I did put a Rice crispy dry up my nose. I also swallowed a tiny light bulb from a Barnum and Brothers circus flashlight. So it was very small. Pooped it out. And my grandma, because she was a good grandma, I remember her carving through my poop with a popsicle stick just to make sure that the light bulb came out intact because don't want that floating around inside my body. And I was on, I was on the potty. It took me a while to to go, so she sat me down to watch slides to wait for me to poop so she could pick at it with a popsicle stick. These are warm, warm family memories I have. In my pee hole, I've had numerous types of catheters, including something called a Texas condom cath, which doesn't really go in. It's which doesn't feel very Texan to me. It's just, it's more of a little cap, more like a condom that goes on top and you pee into it. So it just catches it. It's not, I don't even, 
feel like it really counts as a catheter, though it is more pleasant than an actual catheter going up, up the hole. Up my butt, I'd say um, a recent prostate biopsy, the probe with a little alien mouth on the end to take a chomp out of my, my prostate it was probably the most interesting thing I've had up there. And I did have the pleasure of asking the doctor afterwards if I could see it, which you might say to yourself, Ken, shouldn't you ask what it looks like before it goes up your butt? Yeah, that sounds sensible now that I say it, but at the time, I was just curious after the fact of what I had taken. I'm, I've been enjoying thinking about Jen's ta tampon clown car of a cooch. So, yeah, Carol, even if you have a tuna cooch, at least you don't have a clown cooch. That's about that. Oh, damn it, I still went long. I just can't shut up. I'm sorry. Waiting till it's at 6.30. Almost 